Hi, this is Melanie of Pardesi Reviews, and I'm here to do a review of the Canada film Vikrant Rona, starring Sudeep. If you're new to Pardesi Reviews, I do trailer reactions and film reviews of Indian cinema. So I did a practice YouTube live earlier this week. I had several commenters say, oh, you need to see Vikrant Rona. I was like, okay. <laughs> I thought it was something that was already on streaming. And then I realized it was coming to my local theater this weekend. So I went out and saw it. And wow, <laughs> like I didn't know it was going to be Sudeep starring. And he was awesome. <laughs> now I have seen Sudeep, of course, in the film Ega. And then he had a supporting sort of cameo in Bahubali. So, I mean, I'm aware of him, but, <clears throat> but I'd never seen a picture where he was not the villain, but the actual lead of the film. So that was exciting. And then Jacqueline Fernandez, who I know from Hindi uh, cinema, like films like A Gentleman, which is one of my all-time favorites. So, you know, I, I know her from there. And so... She does, she gets a little bit bigger part than just an item song, but what an item song. Oh my God. <laughs> For me, the complete highlight of the film was her Ra Ra Rakama song that she did and then Sudeep joined her. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> that, one, that was amazing. Absolutely love that. Total highlight of the film for me. This film is by director Anup Bandari. Now, I know many people have recommended it, but I am not seeing his first film, Rangi Taranga, which now I'm definitely going to see. I have seen other comparisons of this film to that one in that it seems like, you know, it's a kind of a mystery, horror, jump scare, thriller. So besides Sudeep and Jackie, we have Nirup Bandari as... Raghava Sanjeev. Mm. <laughs> you know, so, so he is the other main supporting character. Basically, everybody, he kind of looked familiar to me, but then in looking him up, I haven't seen him in anything else. So, but he just kind of had this familiar look. But anyway, and then um, Nita Ashok plays Pana. Again, all the supporting characters, I think, are familiar for kind of the cinema goers, and they were new for me, which was kind of fun. Um, so the, I will admit uh, the film is, I don't know, two hours and 40 minutes long or something. And the first half of the film meanders a little bit. And, and so, for instance, like our introduction scene of Sudip, it's on a boat. Like there's nothing else that has anything to do really with the sea. Like uh, it's just for, you know, cinematic reasons because it looks cool. <laughs> it's basically is the bottom line, which is fine, I guess. You know, I mean... I remember pra Prabhas and, you know, <laughs> the famous punching the shark for, no, you know, no, just for reasons. So I guess there is a smuggling aspect to it that he, you know. So Sudi plays a police officer, but he doesn't look like any cop that we've seen in anything else. He's got this cool leather jacket and he's got this cap. He like, basically looks like... 70s Amitabh Bachchan and it works it completely works for him and the the period of the film it's like they never say but it kind of seemed to me to be roughly I don't know early 80s or something was kind of just from the the cars and whatever that was just kind of the clues that I was getting that it was not present day I will say that you know the first half uh, you know, the plot's going all over the place. Yes, there's some things that are set up that then get some payoff in the second half. But I really felt like the film really came together in the second half. The mystery deepens. Sudeep is investigating the death of several children in this kind of remote jungle area. And... I, I, I will say that once the film ended, there were twists. There were really good twists. And some of them, I don't want to spoil anything, okay. But at least one of them involving a family member of Sudeep's character, I kind of guessed from very early on. There were clues uh, looking back. And I, so I wasn't surprised with that reveal about his family member. But some of the other inter the way things intertwined and really came together um, of characters past 
and then the <laughs> relevance to the thing that was happening in the view in the present day of the film wow um so i really enjoyed the script overall it was fun you know if you know me i don't normally seek out kind of horror thrillers and it's not, you know, the jump scare kind of thing is, <laughs> is not necessarily what I seek out, but it had some really good jump scares and it was just really an enjoyable film. Fun to see, I think, in a theater with all of the soundscape of a horror film, you know what I mean? Rather than just trying to watch it later on streaming on your phone or something. I would say this one is definitely worth seeing in the theater. Now, not a perfect, not a perfect film. But so enjoyable, and I'm really thankful for you for telling me about this film. It might have missed my notice that this was the Sue Deep film coming to my local theater, and so I'm really glad that I had a chance to see it in the theater. All right, let me know if you've had a chance to see the film, what you thought about it in the comments below. Man, that, open, that closing fight scene, I, I have a question about it, okay? Oh, how can I do it without spoilers? Okay, so there's certain characters at, towards the end that are dressed up with makeup and sort of dancer's garb or like theatrical garb. It has meaning. So I would like to know if they are, hmm, if it's just made up for the movie or if it's something that's recognizable to Indian audiences from the... Uh, you know, kind of to speaking regions where they would immediately have recognized what those outfits, that the red outfits that they're wearing represent. <laughs> okay, <laughs> how's that for being vague? <laughs> anyway, if you could tell me anything about that, I would really appreciate it in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter at PerdaisyYT. Follow me on Instagram at Perdaisy Reviews, And don't forget... I have a YouTube Live coming up on this Sunday, July 31st, celebrating five years of my YouTube channel. And it's going to be 8 p.m. Indian Standard Time, 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time in the U.S. Hope to see you there.